Welcome again to another Robots tutorial. Today we will configure Universal Robots with Profinet. Like always, we start with the portal, we create a project, we add the devices, and we configure the devices, always taking into account the IP address and the name, as always. Also, the firmware of the device is important. Sometimes it might save you a big headache, because uh, some devices work with different firmwares, but normally, if you don't put the same firmware, it will have like communication problems and you won't know until you realize that firmware was the issue. So uh, up until now, what I've been doing is uh, disabling the security features because this is a safety PLC and we won't need those right now. So as I said before, uh, we changed the IP address. In my case, as you might have noticed in previous videos, our network is in the 50, so we change it to the 50th range. And then uh, my PLC is uh, 160. This time we will add the router to help the communication and check the name. By now you should be familiar on how to add the GSD, the description file of the device. But if you haven't been following my previous videos, this is how you do it. The device files can be found in the official page in the Profinet guide. Universal Robots has summarized this video, but we found it a bit unclear, so that's why we're making this video. I will leave a link in the description below to download the files and if you want to check their guide. Once we add the device in the catalog, we find it and we add it to the project. In the project, we double click on it and we go into the module library. In this library, we will see 10 modules. We will add all of those because the mapping is already done. By already done, I mean in their website, if you read the guide, they have some function blocks that have already been pre-made. So you just import it into the library. Like before, we change the IP address and the name and we download the files. In my case, I download the .udt because I have a 1500 uh, series uh, Siemens. But if you have the 200, 300 or 400 series, you will have to download both files .awl. In external sources, we double click on add a external source file. On the file, we right click and generate the blocks. There are many function blocks that we will review in a future video. For now, we will just do the automatic external control. So we go into the variable tables and we will create our own variables to map uh, the function tables. As you can see, uh, we map uh, URI, the inputs, and URO, the outputs. Uh, inside these inputs and outputs, you will see that uh, there are many registers and variables that have been already created. In this video, we will only use a few variables, uh, sorry, registers, and we will only create three variables, start, stop, and when the program has ended. So if you want to learn a bit of Spanish, you can see start will be marcha, stop will be paro, and then operación finalizada will be finalized operation. We change these variables into booleans, and as you can see, they will be on 224, 448, and 672. With these three variables, we are now ready to go into the controller and set up the software for the auto external. In URI and URO, in the inputs, we will only use one register and in the outputs, we will use two registers. Here I unfold some registers so you can see which one I'm talking about. And now we move on to the control sequence. Since this is not explained in the Profinite guide, this is why we wanted to make the video. Uh, in the control sequence, we will add uh, marcha, paro, and operación finalizada the three variables we talked about before. So right now we make the start sequence, stop sequence, and the feedback from the operation finalized. We add the registers we want to activate, so the robot knows uh, when it started, when it stopped, and when it fa finished the program. Um, it's good practice instead of like using outputs to use uh, memory addresses, so now, after adding all of this, we will change into memory addresses better. 
because this way you can use them in different function blocks and you won't be limited by the amount of outputs or inputs you have you will create uh, any amount of uh, infinite uh, memory addresses well as long as your plc can handle and now we will switch into the software configuration in the controller so here you see a uh, remote desktop uh, we will show you how to install vnc viewer in another video but there is a magic file that you can download from the official website i will also leave a link in the description below right now what we're doing is uh, to check uh, the ip address and that there's a connection in the network with the robot so once we establish the uh, ip address and that there is a connection we go to program the robot here in installation we go into profinet first we check that no uh, we don't have other problems with like other type of networks like ethernet ip and we uh, enable profinet in our case uh, profinet is running so i disable it and then i enable again then you can see that the profinet is connected and in the led screen we go into uh, input and output configuration and we look for the boolean's gpbi uh, gp boolean in start program stop program post program and free drive these bits will be the ones that we will use to control the robot remotely so hang on now because we are almost done now we will only need to load the project into the plc and check if the program is correct if everything went according to plan which almost always never does but uh, hopefully this time it does uh, once we load the program we will just need to force the start output and the robot will will get that signal and the program that we selected will start running here we see there's connection with a universal robot and here we go into the sequence we visualize the signals and we load a program uh, this is our demo program as you can see now it stopped and you can see the play button run it down below the profinet is connected and now we will force the output we right click force into one and the register receives this signal we go back into the program and see what happened so here we are the program is running you can see the blue line it's moving and the play button has uh, transformed into the pause button uh, unlucky we didn't record the robot running but you can see that it's actually running and we can stop it right there in the remote desktop or we can force a zero in the stop Now we will try to do the same with a new E-series uh, UR because we had some trouble running and it's basically the same but we, uh, there's only one thing we need to do which is like uh, most industrial robots it's uh, go into system, uh, remote control and allow, uh, enable this option once you enable this option you can go to the top on the right hand side and enable remote control and now you can do the same and force the signal output as always if you like this video please like and subscribe and we will see you in the next video and hopefully solve more uh, doubts or issues that most of the people have with this uh, new collaborative robots or maybe also industrial robots if you have any questions just leave a comment below and thank you for watching this video see you in the next video